Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Tara from livingonadime.com. We are doing our Decluttering Your Home series, and this is the final one. Garage, is... basement, and attic. <laughs> oh boy, do we even want to go there? I know, these can be terrorizing. Yeah. Okay, we'll just get started. In the garage, I know the guys are gonna cringe when I say this, but you've gotta get rid of your tools. You don't need five of the same type of pliers you know, laying on your workbench. Mm -hmm. You've got, a couple would be fine. Another thing besides getting rid of the tools, it's kind of nice to have a, a set of tools for the car, a set of tools like mm -hmm. it may be in the house in a junk drawer, and then have a nice set. Now, of course, we know that if your husband's a wood maker or carpenter mm -hmm. type of thing, you're gonna have to have a little bit more. more. But the average home doesn't need yeah. five pliers. The same and time. if you're a, a lady that uses it around the house and your husband or kids keep losing your tools. Mm, no, I love this. Mom got the best idea. She, we got her a pink tool kit for mm -hmm. Mother's Day one year growing up. That was the best thing because the guys won't touch it. Hmm. So, so I now you, still have yeah. that. I still have if my pink can't, tools. If you can't find a pink tool kit, which I think that's not frugal, but a very good investment, um, get some paint and just paint Pam. the handles. Mm -hmm. Um, I've lost them. I've lost a whole bunch of my other tools, but my pink ones are still there with me. And if you use tools a lot around the house for ladies, keep one small hammer, screwdriver, and pliers in your kitchen drawer with your appliances. So you're not having to walk out to the garage or go down to the basement mm -hmm. to get your, your tools that you need just to hang a picture or something. Mm -hmm. So but you don't need as many tools as you have. Yeah. Go through your go through your bins of screws, mm -hmm. go through all your tools. It'll this will take time, yeah. I admit. It will take a little bit of time, but it's so much worth it because just do ten or fifteen minutes a day. The time you'll save when you're looking for those tools is yeah. amazing. Yeah. You'll have it right there. I love another thing when you're organizing your, your workbench use uh besides the baby food jars i like using small cans yep uh to stick my tools in i have the velveta all boxes work well yeah deli um trays mm -hmm. work really well the kind that the chicken come in or uh what am i saying the meats and cheeses come on those are really good for organizing i also had a medicine cabinet without the door on the front of it mm -hmm. and i had space back behind my workbench so i set that medicine cabinet there for extra small shelves mm -hmm. that i could lay small yeah little things on there so you know take time it'll take time but you're not doing the whole garage think about this you're trying to do the tools and the one section just do one section yep. at the time because mm -hmm. then you can move on to the paint the old paint and start doing yeah. working with that you know and yeah paint so can't. about paint <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to keep all your old paint and newspapers and boxes now, we sell our cookbooks, so we do have more boxes than the average person really needs. But I do use those for shipping all the time. But otherwise, the rest of the boxes, they go straight out to the trash or recycling. Um, uh, well, one hint with your gardening, <laughs> I've started using the boxes for under my mulch. Yeah, so you can use them for that. And your mm -hmm. old newspapers for mulch, you can put it under your wood chips. So, what, But what you don't use, get rid, get rid of. of. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, take your old cans of paint and oil to the recycling center and don't bring back more than you took because mm -hmm. we have a problem with that. We'll, we'll go down to the recycling center and ours lets us have whatever we want for free. And so it's great for, for projects. We don't have to buy paint, mm -hmm. but um, it can be kind of bad if you're- Cause you can collect you quite get a bit of too paint. too much. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're taking, getting rid of as much as you're- One thing that helps me with the newspapers and that type of thing, I have, a certain section on a shelf that's this size, mm -hmm. and I fill it with newspapers. Once that's full, I get rid of everything yep. else, and I don't yeah. use anything more. So. Um, get rid of the exercise equipment. Okay, mm. I know someday you're gonna do this, but you're mm -hmm. not doing it. So, just get rid of it, seriously. Give it to the Goodwill, sell it on Craigslist, whatever, garage sale, but don't keep storing extra well equipment. better better yet don't buy it in the first place just yeah. start walking just take a walk it doesn't yeah. cost you anything and then you won't yeah be so get rid of it. that yeah. um go through those boxes of memories in the basement and attic mike started off with about 10 or 15 boxes of memories that he had when we got married we've been married 20 years and he has two <laughs> so 
it's amazing how va- how unvaluable those memories become over the years. So well, make sure they're memories in the first place. Well, yeah, because I've known people to keep old photos and tin tin types and stuff from like the 1800s. They have no clue who these people yeah. are. They don't even know if they're related to them. And they right? don't even like it. They're thinking they are, but they don't. And they're storing them. You know, they're yeah. storing all these things. So and it's it's going to sound ruthless, but you know, the point is to make your life easier. Mm-hmm. What good are those memories if you're miserable with the clutter that you're living with, you know? So go through one or two, just say I'm going to do one or two boxes a day and just do that, but just get started and start going through the stuff. And that's how you can get your basement and attic and garages all cleaned up. Yeah, and don't use those for catch-all rooms where, okay, I'm cleaning out the kids' toys out of their closets, so I'll store them in the basement or the garage for a while or something like that. Just move the stuff out have a specific place for everything and Mm -hmm. keep it there and if new stuff is coming in something old needs to go out yeah Mm -hmm. if you like this video be sure to subscribe like share and comment below